Hello and welcome to Planet Cruise Weekly, the only true cruise content-based show out there. We're going to be bringing you the latest in cruise news, today looking at the largest cruise ship in the world, looking at the top end of cabins available now, the wonderful suites with Royal Caribbean, and just generally trying to help you understand what type of cabins you can book with Royal Caribbean, because it gets a bit confusing, doesn't or it, Ben? Or staterooms, as they like to be. Or staterooms, that's right. Keep watching. Well, hello and welcome to episode 13 of Planet Cruise Weekly with myself, Keith, and the wonderful Mr. Glenn Wallace. How are you? I'm very well, Glenn. I'm very excited because, uh, yeah, well, because A, you've just got back from Harmony of the Seas. I have. And B, we're talking about Harmony of the Seas on the show and kind of exploring it in more detail. Now, I believe she's the third of the Oasis class ships. Yeah. And she's now the biggest in the world. By 33 centimetres. Yeah, 33 centimetres longer. Bigger than the Allure, I think, isn't Bigger it? Bigger than the Allure. Yeah, it's quite, it? quite incredible. 23 pools, 20 restaurants, and over 15,000 eggs eaten daily. Yes, there is. And also, <laughs> on top of that, there's 6,700 guests and a total of nearly 9,000 people, including wow. the crew. So, I mean, I've, I've worked on ships for 10 years, and to look at the way Harmony has developed, it's, it's something for everyone. It is an amazing sort of vessel, and there's so much to keep everybody occupied. You've got the, the boardwalk, then you go up to Central Park, which is something like I've never seen before. Literally, forget you're on a ship, because yeah. you've got the, the, the actual parkland there, you've got all the restaurants off there, a bit of alfresco dining, okay. and it's just taking it to the next level. And then, of course, they've got the abyss there at the back, which is this the, is the tallest the water slide in no, the world. No, the tallest slide. It's not a water slide. Oh, it's really? the tallest slide. Oh, it's exciting. It's like a helter okay. skelter. So you go down on that one with the mat on. Um, and again, you know, it's ten did stories. You do, did you do that? I was the first person on it. Uh, full stop. Well, they might have tried it with staff. I was the first client to actually go on it. Did you scream like a girl? I screamed like a girl. Yeah. So yeah, I tried to look brave at the end, but it didn't work. But again, you've got the water slides on there for the families. Plus, you've got the huge water arena as well. Yeah, that's the aqua theatre the on there theater. as well. So you've got the divers going into the water as well. Two full shows. Two shows on there as well. Yeah. So, you know, it's got everything, but it does differ from when we went on the Anthem last year. It's a different class of ship. So the Anthem had the two sevens here and they had other different things on there. This is different because the back of it is very, very open and it'll be geared up for when, of course, it goes over to the States and the Caribbean. It's true multi-generational cruising. Now, if you want to watch some of the great videos and uh, footage that Glenn and team film when they were on board Harmony of the Seas, just click here. The new staterooms on board Harmony and in fact Royal Caribbean have been turning a lot of heads, particularly the fact that they've got an amazing range of different ones. I've counted 23 so far, including 16 different suites. What we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at this whole idea of, of the suites themselves and we're going to try and make it a little bit clearer because so many different choices now, isn't yeah, there? So is. we, we want to try and clear it up for you. So if that interests you or if you just want to see more of Glenn and I, keep watching. So there are 16 different types of suite when you do go uh, for something a little bit more top end, let's say with Royal Caribbean. Yeah. And most people don't even realise you, you can do this, that you can get a more inclusive, luxurious experience. Of course they can. I mean, it's still, you know, they just spent a billion pounds on the ship itself, so the cabins are second to none as well. Um, and we visited somewhere on board Harmony last week. Absolutely stunning, you know, absolutely beautiful cabins, plenty of room in there as well, but it, f it fits your wallet. So, I mean, you know, if you're on a bit of a budget and you just want to experience the ship, you've still got the insides and outsides, then you might want to treat yourself and go up to a balcony. But again, if you speak to the team here, they'll actually give you the prices of maybe upgrading to a junior suite and just giving you a little bit more room. And I think at the time of paying for it, you go, oh, do I want to pay that more money? Once you get on board, you think, I'm glad I did it. Now, let's have a look, first of all, because it's divided into three different classes. You've got C-Class, which we're going to look at now, and then two others, which we'll mention in a minute. With C-Class, this is the kind of entry-level suite class. Um, and this you can get with family-connected um, junior suites, family junior suites, junior suites, and spa junior suites. So four different levels, if you like. Now, what's included in this? First of all, you get dinner at the Coastal Kitchen, which is the uh, special restaurant just for sweet guests. Which is beautiful. It has, I mean, all the restaurants are nice on there, as I said to you before, but this is absolutely stunning, modern, great food in there as well. And you've got your own restaurant. And again, a more, a more smaller number of covers as well, which means a more personal, intimate, special dining experience. You also get a luxury pillow menu uh, on top of your gorgeous mattress. Um, and you get Loctane bathroom amenities. Uh, and plus you get bottled water as well. So uh, that's just some of the things that you get with the, the C-Class. That's the entry-level class uh, when it comes to the suites. And again, that's for family-connected junior suites, 
family junior suites, junior suites and spa junior suites. And of course, remember the cabins are bigger as well. You don't just get that, you know, no. the actual cabin itself is bigger, a bit more room to sit around as well, but uh, you know, you just get these few extra perks as well. Now we're moving up to the mid brand, um, which is Sky Class. And before we start anything, we should say that everything you've got with C-Class, you also get here, plus we get special in-suite dining. Which is a nice thing. Uh, you also get uh, the sweet lounge, which you can go and enjoy. Yeah. Uh, you know, drinks in with great views. You get a free one-day spa pass to the thermal baths. Yeah, yeah. nice. Which is very nice. Nice. A bit of a detox, a bit of a steam. Yeah, a bit of a steam. Help that skin. You also get exclusive access to signature activities just for Skyclass guests. Um, plus, you get um, exclusive suites that they'll book for you because you get concierge service with this, which is really important to note. Um, and one of the things that the concierge will do is they'll they'll reserve you one of the suites they have on their private islands. So if your itinerary goes to Coco Cay or Labadee, they'll organise one of those. They'll organise one of these wonderful little cabana villas. Very nice. You know, on, on the island where you just get your own private access. Quite very luxurious. Very the nice. other thing they've got on there is free. Uh, which is the uh, the Wi-Fi service. High speed, isn't it? High speed. The other thing we were saying is this this is mainly for things like the Aqua Class, uh, the Aqua Theatre Suites, the Crown Loft Suites, the Owner Suites, the Royal Family Suites, Superior Grand Suites and the Grand Suites. Mm. Now we went in to the Aqua Theatre and the Loft Suites. I though really, really love the Aqua Theatre Suites. And there you go straight out to the balcony and you get a chance to watch the show. Brilliant. So imagine if you go to a top concert or you go to a top sporting event and you've got a box at one of those places. This is almost like having one of those. You can sit out on the balcony and watch the divers, and it is spectacular. You've got the whole of the back of the ship there. So, to me, if if you if you've got the money to do it, definitely have a look at one of those aqua theatres. But really good tip. We did look at one of these the other day, one of the sailings for next year, and they've already sold out. So I know they go very very quickly. So that's Sky Class, and again, that's the mid band. Uh, sweet level that you're going to get. Uh, lots of great extras there. But the third of the Royal Loft classes that we're going to look at is the highest one, and that's Star Class. This is the top level that you can go to. So for a start, you get something called the Royal Genies, a special service which you can have only with the Star Class. They're there basically to look after all your, your wildest dreams. They're sort of your cabin steward, aren't they? Your mm. personalised cabin Personal steward. Personal butler, isn't it? Now you also get the Star Class, the ultimate beverage package. Basically have all inclusive, you can drink, drink, drink and enjoy it. Not that we're advocating that's a good and healthy thing to do. Yeah, unless it's soft drinks and fruit juices. You also get free speciality restaurants, and there's over 20 restaurants to enjoy on many of these ships and more. So eat your heart out there, literally. You get all day access to the coastal kitchen, um, which of course is the sweet class restaurant, but again, that's something you get with other classes as well. Plus you get an in-suite handcrafted cocktail service. Very nice. So again, they come and, well, handcraft a cocktail. Well, if you had a choice of a cocktail to be handcrafted in front of you in your own suite, whilst relaxing in your on your chaise lounge, mm -hmm. what would it be? A uh, pint of Foster's with an umbrella. <laughs> Pint of Foster's with a, a shandy top. You can't tell me I'm going to <laughs> glass. Not a cocktail. Yeah, royal Ooh, class. you are. You're 100% class, mate. You also get um, a free mini bar. You get an espresso coffee maker service, which I'm very excited about. You get free fitness classes. You get a complimentary seven day um, spa uh, pass, which gives you access to the thermal uh, the thermal suite. You get regrets included. You get complimentary in suite movies. Plus you get the fabulous Duxiana mattress. Uh, I don't know if you've tried out a Duxiana mattress. No, I haven't, no. I, I've only heard rumor of this wonderful mattress that apparently it's just like Once sleeping you sit, on. You never go. This is it, yeah. you just don't want to get out of bed, which is a good and a bad thing. Um, you also get fret linens, uh, towels and bathrobes. Um, so all of that, plus everything else that you have with the other two classes, okay? Um, and this applies to the Royal Loft Suite, the Owner's Loft, uh, the four bedroom family suites, the grand loft, the sky loft suites, and the two bedroom aqua theatre suite. So that is the top one, that's the star class. If you want more information about any of the suites that we've been talking about today, uh, then click here and uh, we'll give that to you. Remember that's for Oasis and also for Quantum Class Ships. Well, it's come to that time of the show where we're going to say thank you to all the lovely people that have been commenting, Glenn. And they have been, haven't they? So a big thank you to the following people. So a big thank you, first of all, to AJ Johnson. He said, uh, sign me up for Abu Dhabi and Ferrari World in relation, of course, to our Formula One Formula special one last, week, wasn't it? last week. And also a big thank you to Matty. Um, uh, your wonderful pictures that he sent through to us, funnily enough, of Harmony the Seas docked in Southampton. Don't forget to get in touch. One of the big things about this show is, first of all, it's built around your comments is built around your feedback. Uh, we want to know what you want us to cover, what you want us to talk about. Please do get in touch. There's lots of ways of doing it, of course. You can 
You can go on Facebook, you can check us out on YouTube, visit the website, uh, follow us on Twitter. There's loads of different ways. As I said, get in contact with the team here. We've talked about Royal Caribbean today, we've talked about some of the suites. If you don't fancy Royal Caribbean, you want to go somewhere different with another cruise company, we sell every single cruise available out there. Give the team a call here. You should be a salesman. Thank you. Uh, click here for more information about any of the deals with Planet Cruise and much else. Thank you very, very much for watching. Have a great time, whatever you're going to do, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Cheers, guys.